I wrote a program to play Retro Bowl, and it actually works. I was inspired by a YouTube video where somebody wrote a program to play Mario DS minigames, so I decided to do it for Retro Bowl. I used Python because it has amazing GUI libraries like PyAuto GUI and Pillow, which have image recognition and mouse control capabilities. The requirements are, I have to be able to perform a running play, passing play, and handle end of quarter, fourth down, and extra point situations. The problem is, I don't know how to play Retrovolt on the computer. So I looked it up, and I found Bluestacks, which is a program that lets you play Android games on your computer. So I installed Retrovolt, and I now have a version that my program can access. So how do I perform a running play? A run in Retrovolt is performed by moving the mouse to the running back, clicking on him, and dragging the mouse away, and finally releasing the mouse button. This translates into four steps in Python. In order to locate the running back on the screen, I use the image recognition library in PyAuto GUI. The only problem is, there is so much variation on the screen that I can't use the full running back image. So I had to use a sliver of his feet, which was really consistent. So I wrote a function to look for the sliver and then programmed the mouse movements, and we have a successful running play. To perform a passing play, you must locate the quarterback. So I followed the same process and used a leg to locate him consistently. Performing a passing play consists of these movements. So I started programming the passing function, and I ended up with a pretty good capability, although it is far from perfect. The other part in performing a passing play is finding the receivers, which I use the helmet to locate them. Let's play a whole game and see if my program can beat the computer in Retro Bowl. I've chosen the Bills because they are a really good team and I chose the Raiders because they're a really bad defense and that will give us the best chance of winning this game against the computer. So it's going to be a passing play on the very first play and it's going to turn into a quarterback run and what that means is that my program wasn't able to find any receivers. might have noticed that I punted and it's because I programmed it to always punt instead of go for it in fourth down uh, unless they're in a situation where they can't punt and then they will uh, but you'll never see them actually kick because it was way too hard to program at least for the moment I haven't programmed uh, either field goal kicking or extra point kicking so you'll always see them go for it in fourth down in those situations or you'll see them go for two points instead of one. You will notice that it will click the kick button first and then switch over. That's just the way it runs right now. I might change that in the future. With that handoff, we score our first touchdown and our program will actually take the lead over the computer.
the game against the Las Vegas Raiders and our program comes away with a win against the Retro Bowl computer. And I think that's pretty impressive. We had to have a better team in order to do it, but it was possible to win. So I hope you like this video. If you do, I hope you'll leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions, just ask them and I'll try to answer all of them. And uh, let me know if there's any other things you'd like to see me attempt. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.